Uh, we, we all need to be conscious of time. And speaking of time, right now, it's time for um, Isaac Clay. Put your hands together. He's going to come and uh, recite a poem for us. Isaac the Thespian Clay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, um, after September 11th, I think all of us did a lot of soul searching, you know, and um, it's, it's great to, uh, to uh, have fun, you know, God wants us to laugh and enjoy life, but it's always, always important, as a matter of fact, it's the most important thing to be prepared for the reality of this existence that we live in. So I would like to recite a poem. I was sitting there trying to figure out which one to do, and I felt like this one would be appropriate. I, um, let me tell you how this poem came about. I had a friend back in 1984, and this was, a uh, matter of fact, uh, Dadisa, you and I had a mutual friend, the same friend, and this friend had a way of controlling situations and circumstances. Uh, I remember one time she told me she went to see about getting a job and the guy told her she couldn't have the job so he, she felt that he was discriminating against her so she went back into this man's office and lit into him. I mean she just argued with this man and shot him down, the man was shaking. But this friend had a lot of knowledge about computers and I, and I had gone to a church one night and this man had given me a word of prophecy saying that you're going to write poems and songs that will heal the whole world. And the next morning I woke up and God said, pick up your pen, son, and write. And this is what came out. For me to say that I am the sweetest person in the world would be a fabrication without a doubt. But to even hint at the suggestion that I am faultless would show that I don't really know what truth is all about. But to bear my soul in the face of God and in the face of man, asking God to help me to be as sincere as sincere can be to him and my fellow man. Well, I think you would have to agree with me and say, now here's a brother doing the very best he can. But where are the other angels? Did they lose their wings in life's flight? Were they deceived by the devil's tricks and got lost in the darkness of night? Or did they just blend in so well with the demons that you can't tell them apart? And did they put a computer where they used to have a heart? Gone are the days of the trusting ways and the childlike hope. And the days when they will say, it's also your problem, God. Please help me cope. Where are the other angels? Are they temporarily in hiding or in spiritual limbo? Have they been trampled on the foot so long they no longer believe the spiritual grass can still grow? Come out, my fellow angels. Come out wherever you are. Come out of your cocoon existence and let the world see that for Jesus, you're a shining star. Come out of your safe little one-room mentalities and let the rivers of life be your world. God's way really is the best way, the loving, the giving, the sincerity, the honesty, and the care. Don't say to me, but you just don't know how badly I was hurt and what the people have done to me. You weren't there when my husband, my wife, my boyfriend, or my girlfriend cut me to ribbons with the scissors of misery. Come out, you other angels. How dare you say that to me? Just because you write some fancy poem, you expect me to release the fear and bitterness in my heart, which for so long has kept me company? Yes, I've bled into life's little games and schemes, even though I know that they're wrong. You see, I'm not going to be down here going through all these changes where God is living the life of a king laying back on his throne. Telling me to keep the faith and to keep my eye on the sparrow, it's easy for God to say. But I'm the one that's going through this hell on earth, so I'm sorry. But I just have to deal with God on judgment day. I know his word is true and he's faithful, but he's just too slow. I'm tired of watching my cookies crumble. 
so I'll just have to blend in with the rest of the wicked, satanic, unleavened dough. Where are the missing angels? So you say you're one too. Then how about turning your cheek the next time your sister or brother insults you? You talk that talk, but honey, you don't walk that walk. You praise the man, but you still hold the devil's hand. You sing all them Christian songs, but the spiritual rhythm of your life is so very, very wrong. How, why? You can see the other hypocrites that really disgust you so. But you're going to leave my presence after hearing this healing poem and let the devil continue to show you the way to go. Where are the missing angels? If they're in the, in the room, let them raise their hand. You see, too long we've accepted as part of life, man's sick inhumanity to man. It's time to die to self and let God unite us all through his heavenly plan. <laughs> all of sin that comes short of the glory of God, this we know. But the difference is, who wants God's help? And who wants to continue to run their own show? Where are the other angels? Hey, how about me for a start? You see, I know that I've been half-stepping through life, but I'm ready for God to do spiritual surgery on my heart. So I stand before God, and I stand before man with my hand in the air, promising God and promising man that like a newborn Christian, I will do my share. Like the sincerity of a newborn baby pup, hey, I'm ready to drink from Jesus' cup. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, will the other angels please shout, stand up! Thank you. Good job, brother. All right, all right. Okay, the next poet we're going to call up is a long time, long standing frontline poet. Uh, correction. You got to wait. Uh, we're going to call April up next. April, uh, April Sherlock. Come on up, come on up here, Sonja. Sonja, you want to introduce her? <laughs> okay. We're going to introduce uh, April Sherlock. She is a new up-and-coming poet. She's never performed with the Frontline Poets before. She has a burning desire to share poetry. Uh, she's a new Frontline Poet. Who's, she's been working very hard to uh, matriculate into our... Um, organization here and she wants to share poetry give her a very warm